Good morning, everyone. Good morning, folks. Today we're heading down to Sydney because it's our very good friend's daughter's 18th birthday. And that's on this evening. So we thought instead of just waiting till this evening, we'll head down a bit earlier because there's a Jurassic Park exhibition on at Homebush. So we're going to go down there and see what it's all about and take you for a ride with us. So come roving with us and uh, let's check it out. <laughs> Concord on the way um, on Majors Bay Road full of restaurants and cafes so we've come to grab some lunch at Organica. Some Organica. All right, Organica. Sounds like a healthy place to eat. <laughs> okay. So have you decided? Yep. What are you getting? Oh. So it's a, it's a right, salad to share. So we've got a barbecue duck pizza with buffalo mozzarella and a rocket salad. It just smells amazing in here. It's got that garlic smell from a nice Mediterranean restaurant. So what did you think of that? That it was, was yummy. You that loved it? Good. Very yeah. nice. I liked it too. The flavour of the pizza was lovely. Um, I'm not used to the gluten-free base. We were sharing the pizza. So. The base was a bit thicker than I like. I like a nice thin base, but um, the rocket salad was beautiful. It, it was, was really nice. Rocket and pear and pomegranate. I could have that every day. And parmesan. Parmesan, parmesan yes. And the desserts looked amazing. Oh, the desserts. Oh. Lucky we're full. Yeah. <laughs> this right. is actually a really good strip for restaurants if anyone's coming down to Concord or this way. Make worth a visit to come down to Majors Bay Road and find a good restaurant and have a good feed. And now let's go off to Sydney Olympic Park and see if we can find, find some, some dinosaurs. Yeah. <laughs> See the Jurassic Park. <laughs> We're at Sydney Olympic Park, which that's the the Olympic Stadium that the opening ceremony of the year 2000 Olympics was held. And we actually came to the opening ceremony of the Olympics. Lydia fell asleep, <laughs> and that's how we found out that she was pregnant. <laughs> The first time, which was exciting. Yeah. And we, to get the tickets, we had to go in a ballot, and we won the ballot, we won <laughs> our seat. But we still had to pay for them, so it's kind of like, <laughs> did you win? Well, you did win, but you still have to pay for it. <laughs> but we've been back a few times for sporting events and concerts. There's also a big arena opposite us here, Kudos Bank Arena. And we've been here plenty of times to see bands and performers. They also have sporting events here, and we've 
been here to see the Sydney Kings, the local basketball team of Sydney. They've won the last two championships, so we came here last year to see them in a game, which was lots of fun. I'd love to go back again. Jurassic World, the exhibition. some dinosaurs excellent all right we're gonna get on board the ferry guys so we're gonna make our way on board find a seat place in the street Off you go. Get too close to that trailer. being a fossil yourself then. Well, we're back in the car after the Jurassic Park exhibition. What did you think of that lid? I thought it was really good. It was quick. I'd say it's no more than an hour that you're there for. But, but it, that's probably pretty good because it keeps the kids' attention. I, I agree. No, I think it was worthwhile. I do think... I did hear some families say 
that it was a lot of money for um, a family. It was about $60 a head. Yeah, so I think if you're paying for four people, that obviously children will be a bit cheaper, but it does add up for just an hour. So yeah. I think um, that's something you've got to take into consideration. But for us, we felt it was worthwhile. It was a bit of fun, something different. It was. And, so um, the animatronics were great. Yeah, I thought it was really good. Definitely. I think it was, they did it really well. They did it really I well. Think, um, I mean, it's only in Sydney for a short time. I think it must be touring around. So mm. if it comes to your city, um, I recommend going and seeing it. Yeah, definitely. I would too. But now we're back in the car and we've got uh, a party to go to. Uh, and it's 1980s themed. It's pretty easy for a guy to dress up in the 80s. But uh, Lydia's got all her fluoro gear and whatnot. <laughs> so we'll pause now and we'll see what we look like in 10 minutes time. <laughs> that looks good. <laughs> Alright, I've got to put my wig on. So I'll use the camera to get it right. What do you think? I think it's funny. <laughs> Does it make me look 20 years, 30 years, 40 years younger? I don't know, but you wouldn't be married to me if you had hair like that. <laughs> I didn't have hair like this in the 80s. No, you didn't. <laughs> never had a mullet. Mullet's back. I know mullets are back. But I never had one in the first place, so. Come on for that. All right, we better do a fashion parade. Yep. Okay. How do we look? <laughs> After a big day in the city and the 80s party, um, we're exhausted and ready for bed. Thank you for coming to see Jurassic World with us today. If, if you do... like this video, hit like and subscribe below and come roping with us again soon. Bye for now. Good night. <laughs> Hello. Got a disco baller, a disco baller above your head. <laughs>